Okay, let's take a look at this basic integral problem. And this is uh, a problem that, of course, those of you out there taking calculus or maybe even pre-calculus would be um, learning. And, of course, uh, we're talking about the concept of integration, which is this cool little squiggly deal here. And uh, sometimes this is referred to as the elongated S, and we kind of think of it as the sum, or we have our little sigma here. So depending on how far you are in calculus, your study of calculus, at this point, you know, we're talking obviously about integration, but we're summing up, we're going to be adding up. Let's kind of just do something over here real quick. All right, let's say we have some sort of function here. Uh, what we're really thinking about, or one way to kind of think of this, is we're adding up these infinite little rectangles underneath the curve, okay, of some sort of function, all right? So, again, integration, huge topic in calculus, obviously, and uh, kind of one way to kind of think of this is uh, what we call the antiderivative. So here we have our dx, we're thinking about derivatives, but we're going to find the, quote, antiderivative, uh, which is the integral. Okay, so we're going to find the integral of this uh, basic problem. Now, if we were finding the area underneath the curve of this particular uh, function, this would have bounds to it. Okay, it would have an upper and uh, or lower and upper limit. So maybe like say three to seven, we would be finding the area underneath the curve from three to seven. Now, we're not going to be do do we're not going to do that in this particular problem. All we're trying to do is just find the antiderivative or just find the integral of this particular function. All right, so as my title uh, stated, this is a basic uh, problem for those of you out there who are learning this. Uh, of course, finding the integral, there, first of all, there's many, many, many rules. Okay, this can get, this can get quite challenging. So uh, wherever, you are, wherever you are at in calculus, just know that calculus has tons and tons and tons of rules. Uh, that you know they are going to have to kind of memorize or uh, simply just have good notes. And if you look in any calculus book, there's all kinds of cheat sheets and formulas. So you want to you know obviously uh, have those at your ready. But you got to of course know how to employ those uh, formulas and rules. So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem and kind of illustrate some basic concepts of the integral. Okay, we're finding the integral. All right, so we're going to find the integral of this function now. One of the main things you can do in calculus, let me go ahead and give myself some room here, is when we're finding the integral of this entire function, what I can do is just find the integral of each individual term. So I could just say, okay, I'm going to find the integral of 3x squared, okay, minus the integral of 4x plus the integral of 5. Okay, so first thing is I can break up my integration into its uh, individual components with these terms, right? So that's a, a fundamental principle of integration, a rule that you need to know, okay? And it's going to come in uh, handy, uh, probably, <laughs> probably going to be using this rule all the time when you're doing integration problems. Okay, so the next rule, and I kind of, of course, I have this kind of uh, broken out uh, down here, uh, a little bit more thoroughly, but let's go ahead and just talk about the next rule before you see this here, is we can factor out the constants in, in this particular problem. So, for example, the integral of 3x squared, I could factor out this constant, so it's going to be 3 uh, times the integral okay, of x squared minus, here I could do the same thing, 4 times the integral of x, Plus here, this is just going to be the integral of 5 uh, dx, okay? So that's the next major kind of principle here that you can do in terms of integration. Again, this is the real basic fundamental uh, concepts of integration, some of the uh, initial rules that you learn, okay? So hopefully this is uh, pretty easy um, for you. Now, if you, uh, those of you out there watching this problem, and didn't know this, and you are taking calculus, you know, don't beat yourself up, but just, you know, you know, be mindful that these are kind of, you know, the introductory type of concepts of integration that you kind of need to, to learn, and they're, you know, used all the time. All right, so now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our problem. So we started off with this integral problem, so you can see how I can write it like so, 
Okay. And by the way, technically here, the, it's most correct to write the little DX after each one because we are, these are kind of three separate integ integration problems. So you do want to put your little DX uh, behind each one of these terms. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual integration. Okay. Like, and this is where uh, it gets interesting. So let's take a look at this part of the problem. Okay. Well, let's just actually look at this whole thing right here. Three integral of x squared. All right, so now we want to find the antiderivative. We want to get rid of this elongated s and actually evaluate the integral. So how do we do that? Well, again, you're going to have to know many, many, many uh, rules, okay? Uh, one of the most basic rules that comes in handy all the time uh, is the power rule, okay? And there's different ways of kind of showing you that theorem of integration. I'm definitely not trying to give you a technical lecture here, but I do want to kind of explain it. So here, if you have a function, okay, with a variable to some power like so, what you can do is this x squared here, let's just actually look at this problem a little bit more isolated, integral of x squared is equal to the this variable, x, okay? What we do, we take this power, we add one to it. So that's going to be two plus one. We leave that in the exponent. And then we're going to go ahead and divide this term by this sum, two plus one, which of course is three. Okay. So the integral, go ahead and write this down here. Integral of x squared is equal to x cubed over three. Okay, all right, that is what we call the power rule, all right, but there's different ways to describe it, different theorems, etc. But this is one uh, key uh, principle of integration. Now, there's all kinds of different rules that you're going to need to know about integration, so you don't want to confuse them, but we obviously we want to master the, the basic rules. So knowing that, okay, we can come back here and take a look at our problem. So we start off with our, our integral problem. And we broke it up okay, into its individual terms. We broke, up this, we broke this up into three integration terms, all right? And then we factored out the constant. So here we can see our x squared. We took the integral. So this is going to be three times the integral of x squared, which is x cubed over three, as I just described, okay? The dx goes away. And here you can see uh, each one, right? So here this is going to be four times the integral of x, which is going to be what? x. I'm going to add one to it, so it's going to be x to the first, so that's going to be x squared over two. And then this five, okay, um, really what's going on here, uh, technically speaking, the integral of five, this is x to the zero power, okay, which is just one. So that's why we're going up by one, okay, x to the first divided by one, that gives us a five x. And then, of course, we have to um, add in our constant. Okay, so every time you're finding the integral of a function, you got to always put that plus c, which represents some constant. We don't know what that is. So you just represent it as plus c. Okay, so for this point forward, we go ahead and just uh, employ our basic algebra skills. We cross cancel the threes. Two goes into this four, two. And then we have our five x plus c. So this would be the integral of this uh, basic integration problem. Now, of course, if we were trying to find the area underneath uh, this particular function and it was bounded, let's say by three to eight, then we would take this guy here and we would evaluate it from three to eight, which is a whole nother uh, topic in and of itself, okay? But we can't find the area underneath a particular function until we know how to find the integral of that function. Okay, so basic calculus 101. Um, again, there's nothing really basic about calculus. <laughs> First of all, it's an awesome topic, but it is a um, it's a huge topic. Okay, between the concepts of what uh, derivatives are, integrals are, etc. So, uh, my best advice to you is this: uh, doesn't make a difference, you know, how strong you are in math. First time you take calculus, it is kind of mind-boggling because it's a there's different concepts floating around there. But calculus, you know, is one of the most just most powerful, you know, beautiful type of math uh, 
you know, topics, concepts out there. I mean, it's really just changed our world, our universe. I mean, there's just simply so many um, math problems, science problems, engineering problems. You just can't do them without calculus, okay? So embrace it. Uh, don't beat yourself up in terms of um, feeling overwhelmed. Everybody feels overwhelmed. I'm sure there's those few people that are like, oh, yeah, I get this like perfectly the first time out. Well, uh, you know, having a degree in math and teaching math for many, many years, you know, the longer you're around the topic, the better you better you understand, you know, what's going on. And I'm certainly, uh, you know, no 100 percent expert in calculus for sure. Um, I do, of course, understand uh, the uh, principles and concepts behind it. But calculus is a huge topic. So give yourself the time to learn. Definitely seek out your um, uh, professors, you know, um, Take advantage of all the resources and study hard and make sure not to confuse all these rules that are going on uh, uh, when you do study calculus. Okay, so with that being said, hope this uh, video helped you out and wish you uh, all the best in your calculus uh, studies. Have a great day.